I'm from Eritrea. As you can see, I'm repping Eritrea to the fullest. I got my, my fucking belt and shit. I'm repping, repping, repping. I'm from Eritrea. Like I said, I got my uh, my swag right, my sweater, my my little uh, what you be calling these little get downs, my scarf. But yeah, um, I'm from Eritrea. Like I said, I was born in Saudi Arabia, um, and that's that. Um, I lived out here since I was like five, six years old. I moved to America, like when I was, you know, not an infant, but I was pretty young. But like I said, um, the first place I touched down was Oregon. So I got mad love for Oregon. All my Oregon ducks, my trailblazers, beavers, all that. You know, I got love for Oregon, Portland, Portland. That's what I rep. That's the first touchdown, you know, place I went to or whatnot. And then, you know what I mean? It was too cold out there for my family or whatnot. So um, my folks decided to move to Cali. We moved, we moved to San Diego. And, um, you know, like a lot of families out there, my parents separated. So my mom's moved to LA. My, my pop stayed out here in San Diego. San Diego. And um, so I was kind of back and forth, you know what I mean? I went to check out my mom's. I came out here, San Diego. So ever since then, you know, California was my home and I rep California to the max, to the fullest, you know what I mean? Southern California. So some people be like, yo, you from San Diego or you from LA? Now I'm from Eritrea. So I'm not really from wherever you think I'm from. I'm, I'm from right here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm from Africa. I don't gang bang, so when people be running up on me like, where you from? I'm not from nowhere, yo. I'm from Africa, man, so just remember that. And my struggle is a journey, so all that is, uh, is, is childish to me. But like I said, it is real out there, so everybody protect yourself when you come to California and um, just know, you know, wherever you're going, it is what it is, and I might... I might just be saying that, but just like I said, protect yourself like the Wu-Tang says, protect your neck, 36 chamber type shit, all right? I got, I got a bunch of brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, rest in peace to uh, one of my sisters, her name is Selamawit. Rest in peace to Selam. Rest in peace, like I said, um, that's, that's my... Uh, that's my one love. That's my sister that passed away when I was younger. But anyways, I got another sister. Her name is Fevin. She goes to UCLA, so much love and respect to that. Man, she's my inspiration, really. And also, uh, you know, I got a sister out in Sweden. Her name is Rahel. I got a brother out in Germany. His name is Ermias. I got a couple brothers out here in Cali. Medhana and Sam. So, um... I got brothers and sisters, and I can't even count all my cousins and other siblings, you know what I'm saying? But rest in peace to all my uncles and aunties that passed away in, in that war, you know what I mean? That 30-year war, 1961 to 1991, and then you know how it went on until 93 or whatever, whatever. But yeah, I got mad love and uh, family around the world, but my brothers and sisters, they know what's up. Yoni Habits, always got love for y'all, man. Hit me up sometime. I ain't heard from y'all in a minute. Oh, man. I've been writing music. You know what I'm saying? I've been writing music. I've been writing music since I was like 9 years old, 10 years old. Um, shit, the first, first rap I ever wrote, I remember I was... Uh, I think I got out of school or some, 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 some. I'm not trying to cuss and shit, but it's kind of hard. <coughs> <coughs> but I got out of school like when I was like 19 years old one day, and I, I went home, and I was bumping this, this Humpty Dance song by Digital Underground. It was on the radio. My brother was taking me to school back and forth, but I was bumping this song and I really liked it. And um, 
to each his own, you know what I mean? Everybody just do you, but I like the shit. And I went home and I wrote the rap, and you know what I mean? I memorized it, I started spitting it or whatnot, and um, I was just feeling myself, and ever since then I just started writing music, and I was just like on some fuck the world shit. And you know, Tupac was with, with Digital Underground at the time, and um, Tupac ended up being my inspiration, you feel me? So once I got on that Tupac phase, and uh, after that it was pretty much a wrap. It was like Christmas every day, man. I was just writing poetry every night, and just, you know, just doing me, like I said. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm listening to right now. Go pick up this album, Riches on the Map. That's what I'm listening to right now, but, um, hold up, hold up, let me spark this up. But, uh, let's see, what do I listen to? I mean, my inspiration, obviously, is Tupac. I love listening to Tupac. Prodigy from Mob Deep. That's probably, um, my favorite rapper alive right now is Prodigy. Um, Cormega top three. I love Cormega. Nas, you know what I'm saying? Nas is, Nas is ridiculous. That's like one of my favorite, favorite. Uh, you know, I listen to a lot of East Coast music, but uh, it's just, you know, like I said, I'm just doing me. I like to listen to poetry. Uh, as far as other stuff and other shit I listen to, I love the game. Nipsey is doing it. Uh, you know, Nipsey's my people. I love bumping Nipsey. He inspires me. My nigga Sam Man the Goose, you know what I mean? That's my nigga Sam Man the Goose. That's my people out there. He repping LA and Slawson and Crenshaw and all that. So, um, you know, I listen to a lot of music, you know. I, I fuck around listening to some Nirvana. I fuck around listening to some Madonna, some Eminem, some uh, Bob Marley, Icky Mouse. I listen to a lot of music, so... For you girls, if you guys hop in my car and we rolling out, or if you're jumping in the limo with me or whatnot, the DJ or my man might be bumping something on my playlist that's real, real random. So don't think nothing of me. It's just I love music. I'm on some international shit. You feel me? So I fuck around and bump some Tigrinha music. You know what I mean, my nigga? Uh, with the with the uh, with the De Cabo and. Uh, yeah, I got some crazy shit on my playlist, so, yeah, come check me out, but, uh, definitely, this is option A, so go bump that Yoni Habits, you feel me? Yeah, that's The name of my album is called Eretria is on the map, you feel me? Um, I really just... The real reason I called it the Richards on the map, it wasn't no, no gimmick. I wasn't doing it for no tournament event or some Eritrean festival or nothing like that. I was going to call my my album Richards on the map regardless. Uh, my first album title. Just because I got to remind people, you know, we are on the map. And um, it's probably only been 20 years, like I said. We got our independence like 20 years ago, so um, just basically called it a Rachel's on the map. We listened to the first song, it's called Nine Tribes. We got nine tribes, um, but I got love for all my people. I got love for my African people. I got love for all my people around the world. So um, my next album, you know, for now, I'm not sure what it's going to be called. Maybe Ocean Deep, Red Sea Flows. I'm kind of contemplating on a couple things, but... Yeah, my album's called The Riches on the Map, and it's called that for a reason. I gotta remind everybody around the world that we exist, and we're not going anywhere, and um, we are on the Atlas. So, come visit the country, and, um, come, you know, Google us, check us out. The Riches on the Map, you only have it's YouTube, all that. Right now I'm working on uh, three different projects. One, two, three. Three different projects. I'm working on my next album. It's called, uh, like I said, it's un I'm undecided right now. Red Sea Flows, Ocean Deep, Uncharted Territories. Um, 
But uh, my second project I'm working on is uh, an album I'm doing with my man A and D from Twins Records. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we haven't titled that album, but it's gonna be an international classic, timeless album that you know what I mean. That's gonna be just it's gonna be something that uh, people are gonna be in shock for when they listen to it, and um, it's gonna be deep. You know what I mean? But that album right there, that's going to be coming out by next summer. Yoni Habits, A&D, Twins Records, Collaboration, 15 Bangers, who knows, maybe more, maybe less, but the key thing is going to go down. And my uh, my third album project I'm working on is with my group, The Addicts, you know, that consists of my niggas LRP, uh, my man Benny Snatch, a.k.a. Bentley Benny, a.k.a. V12, he goes by a lot of names. And my other man, Logo, a.k.a. Sonny. And it's going to be produced by my man, Fast Lane, Produced by Crush B. Um, so I'm working on a lot of projects, you feel me? So just come check me out on YoniHabits.com. Check out my Facebook, you, you know, Yoni Habits. Facebook, Yoni Habits. All my links, you know, Google Yoni Habits. You'll check me out. But uh, Twins Records, Mongolia, and Africa. We about to make this international shit explode. So just be on the lookout and uh, don't be surprised. You feel me? A rich is on the map. Go cop that. I got a lot of goals, man. So this could be forever, but uh, for now, my main goal is just to give awareness 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 that's the word give awareness around the world and just tell people you know eritrea we're not going anywhere we got issues around the world with the politics and i'm just you know with my music and my poetry it's like a roller coaster so some days i might rap about some politics shit and some days i might rap about some club shit some days i might rap about some hood shit some days I might rap about some shit, you know, I did with some female hanging out on some cool tip, you know what I mean? So, every day is just a, a mystery, so, depending on my day, that's what I rap about, and that's what I write about, and, um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I just keep it 1,000. My group, I got a big group, man. <coughs> Starting off with my man A and D. <coughs> I got my man V12, <coughs> Logo, <coughs> Andy, my other <coughs> man Fast Lane, uh, Biz, Miz. Uh, let me think. Let me think, man. Debo. Man, it's 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 a long long list, yo. So I got a big big group. We like. The Wu Tang times three, you feel me? We got like a big movement. So either hop on, get left behind. You could be a bandwagon hopper, you could jump on the bandwagon later. But uh, Twins Records, Yoni Habits, we're about to make history. Can't forget about my nigga Baby DZ, by the way. Baby DZ TV, check him out on YouTube and all that. My nigga Baby DZ, what's up, Baby DZ? I see you over there, man. Reppin' Spring Valley, Shy Town, all that, all that. What's up with you, man? On the Twins Records, yo. Everybody get that right. But I am putting uh, a retro on the map. And uh, yeah, God Habits Records. That shit should be coming out soon, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be signing artists. So I need female artists, vocalists, R&B singers. I don't care what you look like, I don't discriminate, black, white, Mongolian, African, it don't matter, man. Just check me out on yonihabits.com, send me a message on Facebook, whatever, whatever. Just get at me one way or another. It is what it is. What do I like to do? I like to smoke a lot of weed. I like to smoke, uh, I like to hang out with my family. Number one, I like to hang out with my homies, my friends, my aces, my music group. 
I like to play basketball. I like to watch basketball. And obviously, I like to write poetry. I just, you know, that's my focus right now. So, and besides that, I just like to keep it positive. That's my whole shit, man. So as long as I keep a small circle and a positive environment, I try to spread the word. So I advise you to do the same thing. So just try to stay out of trouble. I try to tell my people, you know, school ain't for everybody, but I do, you know, want kids to know school is important and uh, education that's something that, that they can't take away from you. So education is, it is what it is. Just like I said, just do you at the end of the day. and. Um, that's all that matters, so Yonihabits.com. Come fuck with me, man. Come see me. Come check me out. The politics and the sanction and the ratri and all that. It's just politics, you know, uh can't mix religion with politics. We got a lot of Muslims out there, we got a lot of Christians out there. But the key thing is uh, equal human rights. So, you know, we all got to be treated the same. So, I don't know, you know, I'm not a politician, but I'm just in the middle. I listen to the left and I listen to the right and I give you my input. So, just listen to my album, Yoni Habits or Riches on the Map, and you'll hear what I think, you know what I mean? But as far as, you know, um, politics back home and the sanctions and all that um, all I can say is just hopefully we're gonna stay strong as a country and uh, it's all about unity so as long as we stick together everything's gonna be alright like Bob Marley said so I'm gonna keep smoking keep doing my thing and let's just stay strong and the rich is on the map and I'm gonna rep it to the fullest you see me repping 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 that's how I do it so, I'm going to do my job, and I hope the soldiers out there stay safe, and hopefully, you know, they do their job. And uh, a rich is on the map. I'm out. You only have it. Check me out.